hello my brothers and sisters welcome back to my channel my name is your humble sister gloria this evening the fifth day of the month of may 2020 we are going to have a moment of intercessory hour like i told you guys on the first video that i am called as an intercessor and my face my youtube channel is going to be based on prayers so we are going to have a moment with god this evening okay so before we do that we're going to pray then we read the word of god Father, we thank you for the hour. We ask the Lord you come and saturate the environment. We ask the Lord you come and take preeminence. We ask the Lord you come and be the chairman of this gathering this evening. That at the end we have every cause to give your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. We cover this evening with the blood of Jesus. We give you glory because you know your presence is already here. Take astral control in Jesus' awesome name we pray. Amen. So we're going to read in the book of uh, Joel chapter 2. The topic this evening is talking about total restoration. We are serving a great God, a great restorer. We're going to see through the Bible when we face challenges in life, how we should respond. Because the way you respond to a situation have a lot to do with how God is going to deal with the situation. Because uh, when you make career out of a situation, it's not the best approach in every circumstances. So let's read in the book of uh, Joel chapter 2, verse 25. He said, so I will restore to you the years that they swam, swimming locusts as eating, the crawling locusts, the consuming locusts and the chewing locusts, my great army, which I sent among you, you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God, who have dealt wantlessly with you. I am telling you that in all these things going on worldwide, as a child of God, that is going to end in praise. But it depends on how you handle the situation. It depends on how you see the situation. So for that reason, we're going to pray. I want you to open your mouth. I want you to begin to worship the name of the Lord. We're going to sing praises as we are diving into the prayer moment. He's the Lord. He's the Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He is the Lord. Every knee must bow, every tongue confess. Thou Jesus Christ, He is the Lord. He is the Lord. Hallelujah. He is the Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He is the Lord. Every knee must bow. Every tongue confess. Thou Jesus Christ. He is the Lord. My brothers and sisters, if you believe in that song we just sang now, that at the mention of Jesus' name, that he is God at every circumstances, be it joblessness, as many people have lost their job, many people have lost their houses, many people have lost, even their marriage is at the verge of breaking into pieces. But that is not the promise of God for you. I want you to open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of God. First, I want you to worship his name. Father, we worship you, we adore you, we bow before the your God. We magnify your name for you alone is Jesus. We thank you because we know you are the God of our life, you are the God of our salvation. You are the everlasting king, you are the mighty in battle, the man of war, the God that rules and reigns in the affairs of men. For that you say let there be light and there was light to God. There is no situation that is an accident before your true perspective of God. That is for that reason we have come before thee this hour. You say challenge me by my word oh God. For that we are here tonight to challenge you by your word. In the book of Joel chapter 25, uh, the Joel chapter 2 verse 25, you say that you are going to restore to us oh God. For that my brothers and sisters we have come before thee oh God. Humbling ourselves as we are watching Shipping you, thinking you for making us to be alive in the land of the living. It's not all that step into the month of May, no, into 2020 that are still alive today. It's all by your grace, oh God. Even though we may not see any light at the end of the tunnel, we know for sure that our Redeemer rules and reigns in the affairs of men. That yes, we have come before you, oh God. We call for your power. We call for your anointing. We call for your Holy Spirit. We need you, Lord. We need your grace. We need 
need your power. We need your anointing. We need your Holy Spirit. We say, come and take our soul control. Jehovah Jesus, the everlasting King, the reigning God, the God who say at the mention of his name that every knee must bow. For I don't know what my brothers and sisters are going through, those that are going through laws of job, laws of life, uh, uh, laws of houses, and a lot of things. So God, even the means of livelihood is hanging in the balance. I know that you are the mighty man in battle. I know you are a great restorer. I know you are the God that rules and reigns. That is the hour has come. You say, challenge me by my word. And see if I will not open the windows of heaven and shower you with my, my blessings, oh God. That is the hour has come. The hour has come. Remember your word in the book of Job. When Job faced all kinds of things in his life, Oh God, he depends on you. Father, we ask him for the same grace that was on Job in the time of his trying time, oh God. The day he lost his seven children, the day he lost all his life, all his livestock, everything was gone in the day. Father God of heaven, but because of the way that Job handled the situation, that you restore it back to him, oh God. Father, I am praying for the power of restoration, the power of restoration in the life of all my viewers, in the life of as many that will come in contact with this video in today, tomorrow, in the future, oh God, I'm asking for your restoration power. You know what they're asking you for? For that some of them are asking you for their job restoration. Some of them are asking you for, for, for financial restoration. Some of you are asking you for position restoration. Some of you are asking you for their marital restoration. Some of you are asking you for their children to restore their children back to them, oh God. For I pray for your power. Let your restoration power move. Let your anointing move. Let your Holy Spirit move. Lord Jesus Christ, thou mighty power of God. He said that he had never seen the righteous forsaken nor your seed begging bread. For in the midst of all this, the economic turmoil is the God. For I am praying, oh God, that your children shall not beg bread, oh God. You are going to make a way for us where there seems to be no way. That you are going to reverse in the desert of our life, oh God. That you've done it before, oh God. You will do it again. That same God, yesterday, today, and for forever. I call for your powers. I call for your anointing. Let your restoration power move in the life of your people. Move in the life of your people. For whatever thing that the enemy have thrown at them, so God, that are causing them sleepless nights, oh God, that many are asked them, where is that God? That the hour has come. Remember your word in the book of Psalm chapter 25 verse 7, oh God. You say the Lord, you are going to take away every coverings of the enemy. Whatever the enemy have used to cover the blessings to cover the job to cover the marriage to cover the homes and the houses and villages and towns and nations but i am asking for your total breakthrough i'm asking for your total restoration father in in the life of individual i'm asking for your total restoration let your restoration power move right now right now right now in the mighty name of jesus amen my father my god these are your words oh god in the book of uh, in the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 61, Father God, you say that we are going to have that which we lost to wiser God. Daddy, these are your word. These are your word. He said, challenge me by my word. I am challenging you now, heaven. I'm asking for your grace. I'm asking for your power. I'm asking for your anointing. I'm asking for your Holy Spirit to go. Daddy, arise. Daddy, arise. Daddy, arise. Daddy, arise. Daddy, arise. Daddy, arise. Let the enemy be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I am praying concerning that hospital bills of God that is challenging your children. That is challenging your children in an hour like this, oh God. I am praying, oh God. Let there be hope for the hopeless, oh God. Let there be joy for those that are sad, oh God. I know you are a loving father. You are too kind to be wicked. You are too loving to abandon. My father, my God, I know for sure that you, God, you will not abandon us in a time like this. You will not abandon us in a moment like this. You are going to restore to us, oh God, the years that the caterpillar, the canker worm, the palmer worm, the Father has eaten, oh God. Let your restoration power move in the life of your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. My Father, my God, look at your word in the book of uh, Job chapter 42 verse 10. He said that twice you restore to Job that which enemy have taken away from him, oh God. Father, that same power, that same anointing is what I'm asking right now, so God, in the 
the life of my viewers, in the life of my listeners, that my brother, that my sister, who is asking, how am I going to get out of this situation? Sister, brother, I am telling you, there is hope for the hopeless. There is hope to those that are depending on God. There is hope to those that are called by the name of Jesus Christ. I am asking you, there is light at the end of that tunnel. Don't lose hope. Arise again. The book of Isaiah chapter 41 also the book of Isaiah 43 he said fear not O thou womb Jacob you are a child of God conceived born in the image of God I am asking you fear not that huge bill fear not that loss of job fear not all those things that are threatening you right now our God of total restoration is here to restore to you to wise as what you have lost like as it was in the time of Job remember that Job lost for, uh, seven kids and God gave Job back seven kids that is a double of that very situation and the same thing I am prophesying over your life right now over your situation right now that the power of restoration will come upon you, will come upon you will come upon you as a single mother as a single father, as a widow as a widower, as an orphan Father I pray for your mighty power, let your restoration power, let your restoration power through your son Jesus Christ who died on the cross of Calvary that you and I will be saved oh God Father I cover as many that are listening with the blood of Jesus. I cover your children from the four corners of the earth that are facing the challenges of this economic meltdown because our economy is of the Lord. It's not of the world. It's not of the world. Daddy, I cover them with the blood of Jesus. I'm asking for your power. I'm asking for your anointing. I'm asking for your Holy Spirit. Take our stroke unto Lord Jesus at the end. Your name will be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My Father, my God, your word in the book of Amos chapter in the book of Amos chapter 9 verse 14 he said that he's are going to do what he's are going to rebuild everything back to you father i pray that lord that the hour has come daddy arise daddy arise let the enemy be scattered let the power that has scattered the wealth of your people let their power be withered in any way in any form are we paying for the sins of our father i don't care to know where he come from the book of uh, the book of uh, I say that uh, our forefathers have sinned and they are no more. We are bearing their iniquity. For I call for your grace. I call for your power. I call for your anointing. In any way, in any form that any one of us are bearing, uh, what we are going through is as a result of our forefathers. Father, right now I am praying, I'm asking the Lord, how long shall we continue to pay for the sins and the iniquities of our past generation? Father, you say that the generation that will turn away from the ways of their forefathers, the ways of their fathers, that generation you will have mercy. For that this is the generation of God. We have come before thee. We have come before thee. We have come before thee. Ecclesiastes have said it to God. We are saying it to God. We are declaring your word. We no longer pay the iniquities of our past generation. But we are going to stand in the righteousness of Christ. And we are going to declare that our God is good. And forever he is faithful. For that we worship you. For that we adore you. For that we magnify you. For that we reverence you. We say arise and let the enemy be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, amen. My father, my God, right now, so God, your book of uh, your book of uh, your book of uh, first John chapter 5, verse 17. You say, A child of a child of God, you are an overcomer. I am declaring the word of God to you now. You are an overcomer. You are going to overcome this economic meltdown. You are going to overcome the challenges that are facing because it's like you can't even go to anyone to say, can you lend that to me? But remember what the Bible say. He said that a borrower is a slave to the lender. I refuse the spirit of uh, borrowing in the life of brothers and sisters because the Christ who promise us in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 20 he said we shall be the first and not the last we shall lend that to many and not to borrow by the authority in the word of God I come against every spirit of pushing the children of God into borrowing but I come in agreement with the host of heaven I say let the spirit of borrowing be canceled in the life of my brothers and sisters at this moment in the name of Jesus amen father I pray against every satanic power in any way in any form the devil is manipulating us oh God through our dreams, so oh God. Father, making us to come in agreement with the kingdom of darkness through our subconscious man. Father, I call for your power. I call for your anointing. I call for your Holy Spirit. I disorganize them. I dismantle them. I shatter them right now. Every 
every agreement with the kingdom of darkness, every agreement with the occultic kingdom, every evil altar that have been elected, monitoring my affairs, oh God, my going out and my coming in, oh God, every monitoring demon, every monitoring guardian, whatever they are using to spy my liberty, I come against it, I rebuke it, I reject it, I renounce it, I denounce it, the mountain quake, the zero, the rest he parted into two, your covenant Israel, they departed on the dragon, for that I declare and I declare that the hour has come for me and my brothers and sisters to, to walk in the dry ground of our success, oh God. Whatever the enemy is using, any magical board, any magical mirror, Father King of glory, so God, every of their network, every of their satellite, every of their flash screen, oh God. Father, they are using to monitor our affairs, oh God, including our security cameras in our houses, oh God. Whatever it is that the enemy is using to monitor the liberty in our home, by the authority in the word of God, I dismantle them, I shatter them. I disorganize them. I disorganize them. I disorganize them. I lend them important. I disassociate them. I divorce them. Father God, I discredit them right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My Father, my God, I call for your grace. I call for your powers. I call for your anointing. You were worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be adored. You are worthy to be honored. You say, call upon me. You will answer. You will show me great and the mighty thing that I know not, O oh God. My brothers and sisters, we have come before you, O oh God. Our Father and our God, we are asking for your mighty hand. God, arise and let our enemy be scattered, O oh God. I don't care to know the power that be. I don't care to know whatever has given them the power of authority over my life. My father, my God, every yoke that the enemy have levied upon me, every yoke that the enemy have levied upon my family, every yoke that the enemy have levied upon my viewers, every heavy letter that the enemy have levied upon my siblings, oh God, by the authority in the word of God, I take up a standard. I come against them. I rebuke them. I reject them. I renounce them. I denounce them. I decide associate myself and I dismantle them and I strangle them to death right now and never to rise again in the mighty name of Jesus amen father and my God whatever I have given the enemy the power of attorney over my life be it a recorded covenant be it written covenant be it blood covenant be it a spoken covenant by the authority in the word of God that I come against them that I rebuke them whatever agreement that I have come contrary to the plan and purpose of God in my life as a child of God. I had the power to annoy it. I had the power to annoy it. For that right now, I know the power that be the satanic transit. Whatever I have given the kingdom of darkness, the power of attorney over my life, through my ancestors, through my founding father, father, through the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, I renounce it. I reject it. I denounce it. I disassociate myself and I dismantle it in the name of Jesus. Jesus, amen. Mighty and everlasting God, the creator of the whole universe, the makers of the whole universe, the God who said, let there be light and there was light, that I stand in agreement with your word. I said, Jesus Christ, the hour of restorations have come. The hour of restorations have come. Whatever the enemy have taken away from me, whatever the enemy have taken away from my marriage, my joy, my fulfillment, my desire, my father, my God, my destiny, my career, hour has come. Let the restoration power move. Let the restoration power move. That I call for your grace. I call for your power. I call for your anointing. I call for your Holy Spirit. Let your name alone be glorified in the Son. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That is through your word, O oh God. In the book of uh, um Galatians chapter 6 verse 1 to 2 he said bearing each other's burden that is what we are just doing now we are bearing each other's burden father I pray that God you open our eyes you open our mind to bear each other's burden we give you glory we give you honor we give you praise we magnify you we reference you we say be thou exalted in the name of Jesus amen father we thank you for the privilege you have given unto us we thank you for the opportunity we say Jesus Christ that when next we gather we are going to pray more than we have prayed oh God I ask for your power. I ask for your anointing. I ask for your Holy Spirit, oh God. I cover the prayer with the blood of Jesus. I cover the viewer with the blood of Jesus. All that you have prayed for, all that we are desiring for. Father, I pray that when next we gather, your anointing will overflow more than it did today, oh God. I give you glory because I know you are the ancient of this. I worship you because I know you are the mighty in battle. You are the man of war. You are the
Father, know that I'm salad by fire. Daddy, you will forever be my God. You will forever be our God. Because we know that the Egyptians we see today, we shall see them no more. Though they gang up. Though, but the book of Isaiah chapter 54 didn't say that when they gather. It said that they must surely gather. We know that the enemy have ganged up in the east, in the west, in the north, in the south against the children of God. But in them all, Daddy, you say that you are going to give us victory. And he said, any tongue that will rise up against us in judgment, we shall condemn. We condemn you poverty. We condemn you joblessness. We condemn you anything threatening our peace. And we say that you are going to come in obedience to the word of God. We give you glory because you know a gracious God. We worship you, Lord. We magnify you. We reverence you in Jesus' awesome name. We pray. Amen. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. As we continue in this channel, the hours of prayer, intercessory hour, that God is going to grant us all the victories we desire through his son, Jesus. If you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ, please, as I'm asking you to subscribe to this channel, I'm asking you to subscribe to God in heaven because through him, there is victory. Amen.